Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I'm the Cyber Roof Guru. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, so this is going to be just a very quick video about making a cutting board with a handle. Uh, so in the past I've made various cutting boards that were square or square with rounded corners. In this case we're going to make one that is essentially square but it has a handle that kind of comes up and goes around and has a little circle in the middle. Uh, so you can like hang it up or you know whatever you want to do with it uh, and the, hand the handle is kind of uh, tapered outwards. So uh, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, let's, uh, let's, get on with, uh, let's get on with the cam. Okay, so here we are in Fusion. Uh, first thing we want to do is uh, create a sketch on the bottom. We're going to start with a rectangle, so we'll hit R, lock it to the origin, and then we're just going to create a box. We're not. Uh, we're going to dimension it. Uh, going to be seven inches tall and uh, seven inches. Whoops, I don't have it there. Dimension seven inches wide. So what this is going to give you us uh, is this going to give us a square. Um, for uh, the, the actual main sort of cutting area and then we'll add the handle uh, in just a minute. All right, another rectangle, hit R again. Again, we're not gonna uh, put it where I want it. We're just gonna uh, just draw it out real quickly. So we want this to be uh, three inches tall. Um, interesting. And dimension three inches. Come on, two inches wide. Okay, um, it's really kind of unfortunate. I didn't want that uh, rectangle uh, right there because <laughs> uh, it's going to be hard to uh, align it after the fact. So, all right. Um, so now we got our rectangle there. What we want to do is we're going to see if this works. A midpoint constraint on this line and then this line. Yes, it snaps the rectangle to the center and then it locks it into place. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create a line from this point here to about uh, uh, two dimension units uh, wide, which is about a quarter of an inch. Um, I think uh, in this case it's a quarter of an inch out and then to that corner and then the same thing on the other side. Uh, come on, get lock. I want it now. We'll move this guy and then we'll try it again. There we go. All right, so now you can see how it kind of creates these little wings. That's kind of going to give the handle a little bit more uh, flair, as it were. Uh, so now we're going to uh, actually delete the rectangle lines here and here. Uh, this line here in the middle still exists. What I found is if we delete these um, lines and actually do sketch extend uh, here, that creates one solid line here. It actually kind of... Um, uh, closes the uh, the the part, and I don't know why it's not listed as closed here. So let's see if we can trim this guy. Um, yeah, it's not closed for some reason. I guess these two points are not. Uh, there we go. That was weird. All right. So now we have uh, our one part. Oh, next thing uh, before I forget, I forget it all the time. Uh, so on up the center point here, we want to create a circle, a one inch diameter circle. That'll give us a hole to <coughs> hang it up on if we need to do that. Okay, now we stop sketch. We want to click on it and extrude down negative 0.95. <clears throat> now in this case, you know, the thickness could be as, as thick as you want it to be. Um, I actually have two separate boards. One that's uh, roughly an inch thick, which is the 0.95. Um, and one that is an uh, inch and a quarter, which is actually 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.14, I think. So I usually make it 0.15 uh, thick in this case. So, all right, uh, next thing we want to do is quickly add some fillets to the outside corners here. Um, so I hit F for fillet, by the way. We want to do a one inch fillet. It gives a nice kind of rounded edge there, okay. And then I want to do an inside fillet on these corners here to round those out. Now, because they're inside corners, we want to use a different diameter, or a different radius, I should say, so 0.25 uh, to give a nice uh, smooth transition there. So now you have kind of what I'll characterize as a paddle. Uh, you can um, make this longer if you want. Um, I'm actually constrained by the size of the machine. 
that I'm using. Uh, the last thing I want to do here is I want to put chamfer um, on the outside edge, uh, 0.25, uh, 0.2, I think. Yeah, I don't want to you know, run into issues here. We want to redo the chamfer here. Uh, 0.2, yeah. So if I'd made it a 0.25, there would have been no space between here and here. Um, and so what the chamfer does is it just eases the edge. Uh, you can try and leave it flat. Uh, I found when I'm sanding it, you end up uh, rounding over the edges anyway, and it actually creates a really nice effect at the end, um, I think. Um, now, in this case, I left the, the bottom flat. Uh, if you want to round these edges, you can absolutely positively do that. Um, I would just recommend, unless you have a CNC that can cut on both sides or you have a jig to stick this in, um, that you just uh, manually sand it over if that's what you want to do. Uh, okay, so now at this point, uh, you're free to do whatever you want with the center. In my case, I actually put a design in the center of a flower. I got some other ideas for other projects. But um, so it's just a, uh, pr pretty much a blank ca canvas uh, to do uh, whatever you want to do. Okay, so that was the uh, tutorial, if you want to look at it that way, in Fusion 3D about making it. Um, if you're interested in the cam operations and other things, if you want to see pictures of it, uh, please leave your comments down below. I'll be sure to send them your way. And uh, any questions, also, leave them down below. And if you like the video, thumbs up. As always, if you don't like it, thumbs up anyway. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.